there, I'm Adrienne Everhart. I'm a feminine energy dating and relationship therapist, and I teach women how to get in touch with their natural feminine energy and create or save their dream relationship, their relationship with a man that they truly, truly love. Now, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you the absolutely proven method that I have with the ABCs to get him back program. I have tons and tons of testimonials where women have gotten this program and they have absolutely gotten their guy back. It is called the ABCs to get your ex back or the ABCs to get him back, but it's not all about getting your ex back. It could just be about reattracting a man that you're really fond of back into your life. But I also teach you how to date from this place of being a goddess on a pedestal, of being a high value woman. Now to some of you that might really turn you off. You're like, oh come on, a goddess on a pedestal? No, we're equal. Men and women are equal. Now there is something called masculine energy and feminine energy and it is about a perspective and that is something that the man has that he is kind of looking up at you and honoring you and admiring you that you have chosen him instead of the reverse of that which is we are hunting and trying to get a guy and trying to hold him down and tie him down and that there is scarcity in our energy for attracting and keeping and maintaining a relationship so this changes up your vibe. And today I'm gonna to teach you about my proven method, the ABCs to get him back. And the number one question I get every one of my coaching clients to ask themselves when they come to me and they say, Adrian, I'm trying everything. I want him back. What should I do? This one question is what I need you to ask yourself. And this goes if you're in a relationship, married, just dating, whatever it is. You have got to ask yourself this question. So stick around, I'm gonna tell you more about it. Women come to me and they tell me about this wonderful man. He was amazing in the beginning. They traveled, they loved each other. She's even thinking about having children with him. This one is very, very serious. I can't let him go. I once felt the exact same way about someone I have referred to as the artist. I thought it was him. He had wooed me, swept me off my feet during a very love-starved time in my life. And his hot and cold behavior actually made me chase him more and want to tie him down more. And it was so confusing in my mind. I remember my sister sitting down and having lunch with me one day and she said, Adrian, what is so great about this guy? And I was like, I don't know. It's just, and I answered my own question. I don't know. It's just, you've been triggered. You've been triggered by a man who is there and then not there, there and then not there. And it does a trick to most women's brains with our value and our sense of security. And we also have this deep rooted sense of we got to make things work, right? We got to make it work. We can make this work. We can figure it out. When really that's the man's job. It's the man's job to go. We can make this work. We can figure it out. Now we can want that, but we can't be the only ones who want it. You've had this wonderful man in your life. He swept you off your feet. You feel wonderful, so intoxicatingly in love with him. You've had some tough spots, but you want him back. You want him back. It may have been just a few weeks, a few days, a few months, or years, and you want him back. So women come to me and they say, Adrian, he has told me he doesn't love me. He has told me to go find someone else. He has let me know that we are not going to work out, that it's been wonderful and we've been great friends and this has felt so good and he'll never have another woman just like me, but he just doesn't want to be with me. He hasn't called. He hasn't texted. It was my birthday last week. He didn't even wish me happy birthday. The list goes on and on. So I ask women this question. Is this man, the way he is right now, the way he's showing up in front of you right now, not who you fell in love with at the beginning of the relationship when everyone was on their best behavior and intoxicated with love chemicals. 
the way he is right now is he your dream relationship is this what you've waited your entire life to find and have is a man who is saying he'll call but doesn't call telling you to your face he doesn't love you walking out the door abandoning you and your children telling you he'll be there but he's not there is he your dream relationship now this is when a client usually starts to cry and she says I thought you were here to help me get him back not make me not love him ever again and of course I'm here to help you get him back but your vibe starts with being clear in reality and in honesty about how you really truly feel now your vibe is everything this is why the minute you start talking to another guy and you find someone you really like your ex will call or text you that's why it works this way it's about your vibe and your energy and the, one of the reasons things didn't work out with this man, I don't know all the reasons, but one of the reasons is you're probably watching this video because you're in your masculine energy and you have a good idea that you have been doing and saying and focusing on him and focusing on outcomes to such an extent that it has repelled the man. Okay, so back to the question, is this guy your dream guy? I need you to close your eyes, put him in front of you, see him standing in front of you what's he doing is he looking at his phone is he ignoring you is he pretending like you're not there does he look sad and hopeless like he doesn't have a clue about what to do look at him is this your dream guy as he is right now whatever he is or is not doing. Is this what you have waited your whole life? As a little girl, you have grown up to become this woman who wants this. Answer yourself. And if your answer is no, and God, I hope it is, <laughs> I want you to look at this man and say, as you are right now, the way you are right now, you are not my dream relationship. You are not who I want to be with. The way you are right now, this is not my dream relationship. If you are this way right now, I don't want to be with you. I don't want to be with you. I'm moving on. I'm peeling my energy off you. Take a moment and say that to his face in your imagination. This is shifting your energy. This statement that you're saying is forever shifting your energy and you better believe he can feel it. Your vibe is everything. How you feel is everything. You had a connection with this man and he can feel it. You need to send a signal to the universe and to yourself and to that man that this is not what I have waited my entire life for. Not this. So when my sister and I sat and had lunch and she said, Adrian, why this guy? And I was like, I don't know. If I would have just taken a moment to look at who he really was instead of the trigger that was going on inside of me chemically and all these other things that are happening when a man walks away from you. If I would have looked at those things, I would have said, this is not who I want. This is not who I want. I want a man who's gonna be there. I absolutely want a man who loves me. I want a man that when we get in an argument or a fight, we might have a bump in the road, but we eventually come together. I want a man who doesn't solve problems by disappearing for two weeks. I want a man with a job. <laughs> I want a man who has a certain intellect or a certain way to respond to things. So many things this guy had that I did not want, but I had been triggered by him. Now, you may be saying to yourself, okay, fine, I don't want my ex back, but I still do, I still want him back. That's perfectly okay. You're here to move at your own pace and don't let anybody else tell you different. You are here to learn from this man. This man has showed up in your life here to teach you something if the artist had never happened to me i would never be with the absolute love of my life which is my husband jeff i would not have this amazing career i would not be reaching out and talking to all of you women 
thank you. Thank you to this man who came in and wrecked up your life, but thank you. That, my friends, is how you move up a tier. I talk about moving up tiers, and that man is here to teach you something. And you may get him back a few tiers up from now, but you're not going to get him back as long as you're stuck going, I want the guy who doesn't love me. I want the guy who's telling me he doesn't want to be in my life. As long as you're wanting that guy, that's who you're going to get. You see, so you have to move up a tier. You have to be able to look at him and say, as you are, yuck, I don't want this. Get a good idea of what it is you do want. Start to live from that energy, live from that place. What is it I do want? Okay, what was so great about this guy that I do want? When I met Jeff, I found someone who had a career. He worked from home. He was able to spend time with me. We have lunch together every day. We walk our dogs together every day. We garden almost every day. Get clear about what it is you want. Don't let this man who has just activated you and triggered all your abandonment buttons, don't let him fool you into thinking that is all God and the universe has in store for you is this man. So when you get clear, your vibe changes. Now you've got a lot to learn from here. So please do go check out the ABCs to get him back. Even if you don't want him back, it helps you call forth and attract the man you do want. If that program's not right for you, I have something called New Man Manifesto. It's an audio program, and it's all about manifesting and finding the desires in a partner that you want. Both of them are exceptional, and I do encourage you start with my ebook, 500 Ways. But again, the ABCs to get him back, it's proven and it works. And most women who have that have started with my ebook. So, I'm giving this to you and this information and this video because I know these products work. I created them myself. I've tested them on my clients and they continue to produce results. And I want you to have those same results. I want you to change your life forever so that no man ever, ever, ever does this to you again. That you are forever on your pedestal and you do not lose sight of your value and your contribution to this world as a woman. All right, sending you much love and gratitude. If this video has helped you, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. I would love to be part of your life, and I'm very honored to be speaking with you now. All right, sending you much love today and always. Bye-bye.